हेलो फ्रेंड्स तो वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कंटिन्यू आवर सीरीज ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शंस इन मोंगो डीबी तो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट यूजर मॉडल्स एंड स्कीमा हाउ टू मेक स्कीमा एंड मॉडल्स तो स्कीमा इज बेसिकली हाउ द डाटा विल बी ऑर्गेनाइज इन साइड द डेटा so today we will learn about how to create routes for inserting this data into our database <coughs> so let's first create a folder called routes okay. then inside this we will make a user.root.js file okay so here now the first thing we need to do is we will need to import express we imported express now we will declare a user root variable and inside it we inside this we will assign this express router function then we can use this route to perform various thread operations like post get delete and put and fetch okay so we will give the root to slash root path a slash okay then we will make a error function request response then we will do this and inside this we will do try and catch block so now let's see whether we are getting the response or not now working fine and here we will write this dot send something sent wrong okay and now we will import this export this root from here and we will import it here and we will use app dot use and we will give the path at which we want to assign that root so slash user will be the path we will use to interact with this user route and we imported this user out here as well now let's see whether it will work or not so we will use thunder kind to make the request so we open thunder client and we will split right and here we will get it so now we have slash user here okay now let's check whether it's working or not so it's working fine now what we need to do we will need to interact with our database here so we will get all the request body from here first body rest uh, request dot body now what we will do we will try to console first whether we are getting this request or not okay or whether we are getting any errors hmm. so in our request body we will have to use this same data structure as mentioned here and the type as well so i created one for example here a data structure so we will post it here in our body part and we will try to make a post request here and we as we are consoling the request body let's see whether we will be able to see the request body here or not 
so let's make the request so here it is showing working fine but here it is coming as undefined <clears throat> so why is this happening because we are not using express.json here so let's use express.json express.json function here and now let's try to make again the request and see whether we are getting this request body console here or not this request body okay so now we are getting this request body okay now we are getting the request body now what to do next thing we will enter call our db function so we will declare a new user request variable and we will assign a new variable to this and now we will what we will do we will import our model here user model and inside this we will pass the request body okay done now after this what we will do now after this we will await and save the new user request here and we will do dot save okay now await is showing us error so what is it saying await expressions are only allowed within async functions and not at the top levels of modules so we will have to assign this as async function okay because it will be returning a promise to us so now it's good uh, it is in a different color but no issues okay now it's good so now everything is fine and we will try to make a request and let's see whether our data gets appended into our database or not so we made a request and it is taking some time and it will throw an error because we are missing some part so something went wrong but it is saying the 200 error so here we should also add the status code like 500 okay and here also for this thing we will need 200 because it is a successful response okay now let's try again Now what we get it will again throw error because we are missing some part and I will tell you what things we are missing so it is internal server error something went wrong so here we are using this to interact with our database but we are nowhere we are connecting with our database in our server here we haven't used or connected to our database anyway so what we will do we have to connect to our database we will import mongoose and mongoose here is mongoose is not coming so we imported mongoose let's check whether we have a mongoose installed or not we have mongoose here so we can enter to mongoose now the next step would be to connect with the database so in my first video i informed you guys about how to make a replica set in mongodb so i'll be using the same replica set here i have this replica set so from this replica set i will use this url to connect to our database okay 
so what is the use of replica set it is used so that if one server of ours goes down then we can connect to the next available server with it okay so i in i declared a variable inside that i like push the url and now here what i am going to do i will await mongoose dot connect and i will pass the uri within it now let's see mm -hmm. so it is again throwing some errors seems like okay new mongoose parser invalid schema okay so it invalid is schema it is saying so here i have left some space so now i will remove it and it will be fine okay now it's working good we have connected to our database as well here then everything is fine we have imported the root now let's make this request we have this request body Heisenberg Ajitma company name this and this. So now let's make a request here. And it is saying 200, okay, working fine. So it is working fine. Now let's go to our compass and check whether we have got this data or not. So before going into compass, let's first make here a user user okay otherwise it will create some problem for us so user is our database this user okay so now again we will make a request let's see what happens so it's working fine you can change the response if you want response message so anything you want now we will check whether this is got dependent or not here so inside users if i'll go here it is taking some time okay so we got this name eisenberg age 25 company two array random name and okay someone okay okay but here company name is missing let's take check so here i have used company name and in models i have just used name so i'll have to assign company name here okay so let's delete this okay now again we will make this request so we will go here and check whether now everything is okay. So now we got company name, YouTube, employer name, random name, and here is the reliance, location money, married calls, and date of birth is this. So now it's working pretty well and data is getting appended inside this DB. Okay, so that's all for today and this video. So I hope you would have learned uh, more about routing and how to use it and about also mongoose and how to con connect with the database. So from the next video we will be starting our transactions as well. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video then you can like, subscribe or comment if you want me to make any video or if you want if you have suggestions. So thank you guys, have a great day, bye.